Konnichiwa and welcome back to Wozo Highlights. If you're new to the channel, my name is Claudio and I am your host. Today we are going to take a look at Yui Hasegawa's last game against Liverpool, which was, I think, barely two weeks ago. And this doesn't matter because you and me, we are both here to watch the beautiful Yui Hasegawa play the most beautiful game in the world. So thanks very much for tuning in. And I want you guys to have the feeling that we are two pals, two friends who are watching football together. So everything is raw, everything is straightforward. And that's what I want to give you. Just a good feeling for the next couple of 10 minutes. So thank you very much. And as always, I haven't seen a game. I haven't seen the footage. Let's dive straight into the action. You, Yui and me. Let's go. Um, so I think we're already in the second half because Yui, um, I saw the, the starting 11 sheet and I think Yui was not playing from the beginning. So we are already in the second half and she just came on probably. Um, a one question I want to ask you guys. What do you think? Um, should Man City move Yui up um, as an offensive midfielder? What do you think? Is her talent wasted as a defensive midfielder? I, it's a really, it's a really, really tough decision for me to be honest, because um, she's playing great really really great as a defensive midfielder she has so many attributes especially when it comes to our uh, gameplay uh, playmaking opening up the game but I think she is wasted really I think I think she is wasted back there because um, if you watch her playing with the Japanese national national team she is brilliant up front really she has so many creative ideas. Um, oh, it's really hard, really. So tell me what you think. What are your thoughts? Oh, brilliant turn, uh, but an easy loss. And you know, that's that's. I think that's one thing. Um, she's even though she's playing that position for almost a year now, she is way too offensive thinking her her mindset is too offensive from my point of view um so she is way better up front and i think i think city would score way more goals with her playing as a number 10 or as a number eight something like that but we can't change it we can't we just can argue about it that's it so i hope you have some good coffee as well to watch it oh nice touch uh, oh nice interception go yui oh hebo all right all right all right so how are you doing guys I hope you are, you are well um, it's um, 9 o'clock 9.30 in Austria where I come from um, oh, let me know in the comments below um, where you're from uh, I know most of you are from, from Japan from Japan but I really would like to know which cities you guys are from uh, what are you doing so let me know let me know in the comments below we should we should actually get to know each other so that's it oh bad pass bad pass oh one more thing uh i know it still hurts a little bit but um what do you think 
uh, how did the World Cup go for Japan? I think, from my personal perspective, they should mm, they should have been in the final. Really, they should have been in the final. They had such great games. They were so dominant all game long, but. I don't know what the problem was. Maybe it's because they they don't have a, the the perfect striker yet, or they don't have the striker with the um, with the quality they are looking for, um, especially compared to the top teams like England, Spain, or even Australia. Uh, look, they have Sam Kerr up front. Um, of course, they lack other problems. But I think the biggest issue for the, the national team is that they don't have an international top striker. Oh, nice block, Yui. Nice block. Um, I think that's the, biggest, that's the biggest issue from my point of view. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Tell me, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I really would like to know what you guys are thinking. So... You can uh, write in any any language. Um, I can translate it, so it doesn't matter. So Yui, 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 Yui. Oh, nice! <laughs> Look at her quick feet. Oh, good pass. Can you take it? Is this Colin Kelly? Nice. Oh, brilliant idea. I think they they receive the goal. But um, the game, that was it. I hope you guys uh, had some fun. And, you know, I like talking to you guys. And I am really, really excited about your, your comments. Um, and just let me know what you think about Yui, about her game. Is she wasted, kind of wasted? As a defensive midfielder, should should Man City move her up as a number ten or as a number eight, or even up front as a number not not close nine but like a, a behind the strikers player. Um, but if Man City do uh, does that, who should they play as a defensive midfielder? Because Yui is <laughs> brilliantly. She is intercepting balls, she is playmaking, she is the key to the success Man City is having in the last the last two years. From my personal view, the Yui it's Yui Hasegawa. It's Yui Hasegawa, really, who is the key for everything at Man City. So Domo Arigato for watching. If you haven't seen it, take a look at this one and thank you very much. Bye-bye.